Hi guys and welcome. Uh, there it is. Welcome everyone uh, to what seems to be a stream that I started a couple of minutes too early, but uh, hey, who cares? Uh, nothing matters uh, because we are going to take a look at RBR. Uh, but before we do, I want to say hi to all of you. I want to start with Extremer, Bengan, and uh, Perid. Welcome to all of you. And welcome to Coffee Break, Druze Black, Electro, Pavli, Thanos, Ghost Rider, uh, Stevios, uh, Paolo from Brazil. Welcome. And Yarno and everyone else. Nice to have you here, guys. And welcome to RBR. Uh, where should we start? How about looking at the uh, map itself? This is an add-on map for ETS2. Uh, oddly enough, because the map is on the 1 to 10 scale. So it would, in my opinion, be better if this was a standalone map. But it isn't. Uh, but because it is a 1 to 10 scale map, uh, we have Europe... Yeah, just scattered around here and um, never mind the background, right? It is there. Um, so, um, yeah, it looks a little bit strange. Uh, but um, one might think that one might be able to fix that. And I can't. I've tried using Delete Europe. Uh, because what I otherwise would use is a mod that comes with RBR. That allows you to remove Europe. That doesn't work either. I don't know if that is made for, say, 134. Uh, the map itself is made for 135. Uh, but the included RBR delete Europe mod doesn't work. And neither does the delete Europe mod that we usually use. It crashes the game. So you'll just have to live with Europe being there. But other than that, my god, this map. It's a paid map and it's gonna cost you uh, right now on Black Friday sales just 30 real, which is seven and a half euro. Uh, and seven and a half euro, it's a bargain because this is a one time fee and then you're set for life. I've had this map since ETS 2 131, I think. Uh, at least that's when I did my first review of the map. Uh, and every time there's a new version of the game, the map is updated. I haven't been able to test it on 136. I'm not sure if this one works on 136, but this one do work on 135DX11, which I'm currently using. So that is a good thing. Uh, a couple of other great things about this map and why you should buy this Bengan is because it includes its own traffic mods. Let's take a quick look in game here. It includes its own traffic mods. Uh, and on top of that, I'm also using JL Trucks uh, traffic mods. And we might have a game crash sometime during this stream because I decided just five minutes ago that I was going to add all of JL Trucks traffic mods. Uh, not that it was really needed because there was a ton of great traffic here already. A lot of wonderful Brazilian traffic is included with the map itself. But we also have, if we take a look at the job market, you'll see that we have a lot, uh, and I'm not using any trailer or cargo mods here. We have a lot of uh, very Brazilian trailers here. Uh, not all of them, of course, but a lot of them are Brazilian. And that is courtesy of RBR. Uh, and of course, we also have then different types of cargo courtesy of RBR. And we also have, let's scroll over here, a built-in bus slash passenger mod. There are no buses included, but there is a uh, passenger mod included. So if you want to use a bus on this map, that works perfectly fine. It's actually what I did when I did my review on 131. And then, of course, as you can see, this truck here. Yeah, that is also part of the uh, map. There are a few torpedo trucks that are included uh, based on this one here. Then we have these two here, which is one of the two trucks that I'm linking to in the video description, as well as 
uh, this one, the other um, uh, truck that I'm linking to in the video description. But this one here is included with the game. And there's a lot of great skins for it, but in my opinion, this is the best looking skin of all of them. Rusty beat up truck. And uh, let's take a listen to it. So this is what we're gonna do our first haul in. Uh, admittingly, the skin isn't perfect, but I mean, it's an old truck. It's supposed to look. Uh, it's supposed to look like this. Uh, yeah. Um, Nightbots. Let's talk a little bit about Nightbots. Uh, I've added Nightbots. I just did that recently. Apparently it is uh, popping up a little too often, so I'm gonna fix that to the next stream, but um, bear with me for this one, please. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, it's there. It's gonna stay, but not as frequent as it currently is. Uh, unfortunately, the, with the interior of this truck, it's not great. But the truck looks good, so, uh, yeah. Let's uh, see where we're heading, by the way. We're leaving from uh, Pelotas. And we're going up to Lagos, which is 324 kilometers equals 600 kilometers on a standard 1 to 19 scale map. Uh, because, again, this is a 1 to 10 scale map. Um, and we might be able to squeeze in a additional haul tonight uh, if we're lucky. If we aren't lucky, we're going to continue tomorrow because you need to see more of this map. Uh, because I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. Yeah, Pavla, I remember. Uh, we went to China and that was um, that was a lot of fun. But I also think we're going to have a lot of fun on this map. This truck sounds good, it looks good. Let's see if it handles good. Yeah, I'm from Sweden, uh, Andres, and welcome, by the way. Uh, maybe, hang on, I think I need to move the uh, seat a little bit further back. More like that, perhaps. So, I mean, this just this truck is worth the sound and the outside looks of this truck is worth uh, seven and a half euros or 30 real. So, uh, buy the map now. It's on sale. And we're gonna see some uh, pretty um, awesome um, traffic here today. Uh, I spent quite a few hours on this map over the weekend and uh, during uh, during yesterday. Uh, let me know if the sound is okay, by the way. Uh, and it's just... I can't believe I forgot how beautiful this map is. Uh, if you haven't seen my review from 131, go back and take a look at it. Um, I might do another review of this map, simply because the um, load order is different from what it was uh, on 131. But if you go back, you'll see that the cities are absolutely bonkers big. Uh, really, really huge cities. And I'm not talking like uh, Republic of China big, I'm talking proper big. Hang on, the engine is a little bit loud. Yeah, I thought so too. Um, let me 
down there. See if that works better. I'm not sure that that did a lot of difference, but let me know if it's okay. Otherwise, I'll turn it down even more. Hi, Richard. Welcome. There we go. Uh, let's see, this thing has... Is it 12 plus 2 gears, I think? We have crawler gears. Let me see, 11th. Yeah, there we go. It's too low still. Okay, we're gonna turn it down even more then. Anything for you guys. Put it down there instead. That should be good enough. Maybe that was a little bit too much. What do I know? What are you saying, Perry? It was too much? It was better, he says. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with better for now. Until someone says otherwise. I guess I was playing around with the game yesterday and loved the sound of the truck so much that I accidentally put it too high. Robert Radak, welcome! And welcome to RBR. Up a notch on the volume, there we go, fine. Um, notch. Ouch. That should be perfect, I hope. Stream sales on uh, SCS stuff, I'd say, uh, Tiago. Uh, yeah, bang on. Um, uh, I'll I'll um, turn down um, the number of times the uh, night bots. Uh, talks to us, chats with us, to uh, maybe half of what it is right now, maybe a quarter of what it is right now. It's set to every 15 minutes, uh, minutes and that is uh, obviously, evidently, too often. <laughs> uh, Grizzly22, welcome. Uh, I already said hi to Robert and Tiago as well, I hope I didn't miss anyone else. If I did, I do apologize. By the way, if you love Brazilian maps and do not have JL truck traffic, check the link in the video description to his video, YouTube video you'll find all five or possibly six traffic mods they have. Download all of them and add them to all your Brazilian maps. Uh, I mean, it's... Um, yeah, you want that traffic. Uh, Reformer, uh, I have not parried. I didn't have time to do it. Uh, I mean... I more or less decided earlier today that I was going to do it. Uh, I will do it uh, tomorrow. Okay, I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, for those of you who do not know which map that reformer map is, it's a ATS map, Sierra Nevada for ATS. Uh, another uh, update to all our Mexican maps on ATS too. Sorry, on ATS. Welcome Street Food Nation and thank you very much. Thank you. You have it already, Perid? Did you buy it? 
Uh, correct, Parrot. It is located in the US. But it's made by the same team that makes one of the Mexican maps. Unless I am completely wrong. Uh, I'm not ignoring you, uh, Mr. Unknown, and I'm still struggling to remember your name. Uh, not Kobe, Nomi, uh, it's... Ah, Bengan, help me out here. <laughs> Malgarsata, welcome. Uh, Outlaw, welcome to you as well. Yoko! <coughs> Welcome, Arias. Yoko! God damn it, how difficult can it be to remember that? Why don't you just change your name to Yoko, by the way? Or Yoki, maybe. Probably more. Probably Yoki. Tau God, welcome! Outlaw, I already said hi. I think. Uh, windshield, well, it's an old beat truck. I bought it with the windshield looking like that. There is actually another skin where the um, windshield has a couple of bullet holes in it. Uh, but I went for this one. Thank you, Street Food. Appreciate it. Yoko where it is. Yoko. Pedro, welcome. Oops. Uh, yeah, Pedro, I started off on this new profile that I'm using for this map uh, in the north. And I saw that you had bus stops along the uh, highways, uh, things like that. People standing there waiting for the buses. <laughs> Yoko, I'll try to remember it. Um, honest to God, I'll do my very best, sir. By the way, speaking of streams, uh, or not. Uh, convoy is on Saturday. Be there. Or um, don't be there. Uh, convoy is going to be on 135. Definitely. We know that now. No matter what happens with ETS2 update to 136 or not. Um, Truckers MP will not support uh, 136 by Saturday, so um, doesn't matter if the game itself is updated or not, it's going to be on 135 and it's going to be on Pro Mods as well, just like we hoped for. <laughs> uh, Yoko, um, let me see, I'm just gonna grab my post, no I'm not gonna do that now, uh, I'll try to remember it, I'll do my best. Uh, so we're gonna have that convoy going all the way up to Kirkenes on Saturday and we're starting at 1 p.m. Central European time Be there. You're gonna love it. And there's gonna be some uh, pretty nice Prices for the three best truck trailer combos uh, I'm just gonna say it. it's gonna be the new DLC for ETS 2 so if you want a new DLC for uh, the Black Sea DLC for free, just bring the best looking truck and trailer combo to the convoy. Uh, any new map closer, closer to Utopia? Uh, I did a couple of video reviews of other similar maps uh, just after that stream uh, street food um, don't think i'm gonna do any videos on them uh, or live streams on them right now at least but there might be a second stream tomorrow on this map um, because it's 
probably the best looking, best behaving, well made map mod for Brazil or of Brazil. Yoko Ono was a woman. <laughs> Allegedly. I just wish the interior of this truck was better looking. I mean, this truck... Uh, it's... It's great, except for the interior. And it's not standalone either, this one. It's not like you can just exclude it from your installation of RBR. It's it's part of the six files you need to install to get RBR working. What kind of pizza is it, street food? <laughs> Is there such a thing as a pineapple pizza? No one, e no one eats that. It can't be a real pizza. It's a homemade pizza. Well, that says absolutely nothing about what kind of a pizza it is. I kind of... I'm actually okay with Hawaii pizzas. Loss, welcome. <laughs> it's an aluminium pizza. Uh, Gul Gulherme, welcome. Uh, from Brazil, welcome to Brazil. <laughs> What I really like about the cities on this map is that you can actually drive through most of them. They're not just there as part of the um, environment surrounding the roads you can drive on. They are part of the uh, of, of the map that you can haul on. So they're not just there for show. MRT, welcome. <laughs> Dusty pizza. <laughs> Envy Kukalari, welcome. Not the best road, this one. Well, it is it's a great road, but it's a little bit bumpy. That's all I mean. Lewis, welcome. Uh, train... <laughs> train simulator? Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well... <laughs> I don't think the world is ready for my um, train sim skills, so um, um, maybe some other time. It's 
Speaking of train sim and the reason I started, uh, the reason I did my video on it, uh, Parrot is going to be the uh, lead truck in the convoy. So um, if anything goes wrong during the convoy, it's all going to be Parrot's fault. Uh, I have no idea, uh, Nev. Um, betting Arias can tell if it's so or not. Uh, and from my understanding, we are also holding on the oldest parts of this map right now. Uh, since we're down in the south. Uh, so I'm gonna try to, if we have time for it, do another haul on the northern parts of the map. Uh, so you can see the difference between the these old parts. And they don't look bad even though they're old. Uh, and the new parts. Uh, what rats? <laughs> no, there's not an English version of it. I use uh, Google and direct translate the page. Uh, I do not speak Portuguese um, and I barely speak English, but I was able to buy the map. No problem whatsoever. Um, without uh, with just using Google Chrome and, uh, and uh, English translation via Google Chrome. I do recommend that you, if you're going to buy this map, which I recommend, do it now. It's on sale this week. Uh, it's only 30 real this week, which is um, seven and a half euros, circa. And uh, normally it's uh, 40 real, which is 10 euros. So you're saving 25% if you buy the map now. Nope, I have not spent a second uh, in the... Well, actually, I have. Uh, I don't know if you remember it, but there was this um, boat challenge. Um, we didn't do it on cam, but I did it after the stream. Uh, absolutely boring. I have no idea why it was there, but... Uh, Powell, it's just a bumpy road. I'm not driving over anything. It's just bumpy. I'll show you the truck. I can do that first. Here it is. Isn't that beautiful? What a beautiful truck I have here. It's funny though how the hood looks uh, rusty from the outside and perfect from the inside. Hmm. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you the map as well because I wanted to please oh look at that we did half of it already or less um so I'll give it another half hour and we should be up in lagers and then we're just gonna teleport up to um somewhere around um, itaburai no Terrasopolis, and do something from there further down south Yeah, um, I love these old trucks. Uh, it's not the first time I run around with a uh, rusty skin 
on one of my trucks. But this has got to be one of the rustiest, rustiest skin I've used so far. Again, this truck is far from good looking from the inside. Um, but it's, it's part of RBR, you get it for free if you buy RBR, so uh, why not? XYZ, welcome back from America. Uh, yeah, there's a link to the uh, video I did on this map in the video description of this video. Oh. Uh, just be aware that the um, load order is the opposite now uh, to what it was on 131. So from bottom to top, it used to be file 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now it is from the bottom to the top, six, five, four, three, two, one instead. Which got me a little bit confused when I updated. Um, and if you are already, if you already own this map and have an old profile, they made so many changes to the map that, in my case at least, the old profile didn't even work anymore. So I had to create a new profile. Yes, uh, CJ, uh, file number six there is at the bottom instead. Uh, <laughs> yes, Sarayas, they are. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. This is going. Oh, come on. Oh, Christ. Wow. Did I do that? Apparently I did. That was horrible. This isn't gonna work. Damn it, Arias. This is all your fault. Uh, X, Y, Z, of course I didn't. <laughs> uh, now, I'm still using the old one and I'm very happy with it. Um, this is all Arias' fault. He started talking about teleporting and I immediately felt that I had to do a teleport using my teleporting devices here on the side of my head. So we're going to press that button there and we're teleported. See if we can get this one started. Yes. Well, I'm not the only one having problems getting around there. That hairpin. Uh, any initiative on my? Uh, on my dream map, uh, no, anyone having any intentions of doing that would be insane. Uh, especially if they were going to do it on the one-to-one -one scale. Yeah, I bet you like this AI uh, uh, Arias. They are not as nice as I'm used to, so I'm going to get in line like everyone else. There we go. Let's see how they're doing up there. Well, come on then. Gonna move on. Seriously. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's the real Arias. It's learning from exam. What the hell is he doing? Come on. All right, I'm going to remove the traffic here. Bye bye. And back on again. There we go. Problem solved. So we're on the move again. The traffic is okay on this map. Things like that happens. What the hell? Gabriel, it's the um, Sirius 1 uh, torpedo truck for, uh, for Brazil. Let's see if we can get around this corner this time. There we go. Piece of cake. Uh, the truck is uh, part of the RBR map. Come on. I think the um, yeah, twenty six tons and the truck has some three hundred and twenty horsepower. Uh, more than enough, of course. But we're not going to be the fastest thing on this map. If I've seen the new blog post, Perid, uh <laughs> Nice try, Pavlo. <laughs> I'm not gonna drive off the map. Um, the new blog post from SCS Parade. Uh, did I see it? Uh, uh, maybe not. Can't remember seeing anything today that was that I felt was special. Bogdak, welcome, buddy. Take a look at our truck, Pogdak. You like it? Uh, I tested the uh, Tesla truck, uh, CJ, uh, for ATS. I hope they're making a better implementation of it because um, 
It was kind of awesome using that. It's a completely different experience than a regular truck. Not very streaming friendly, I imagine, because it was quite... Um, well, we didn't have any engine sound, so... Uh, I think it's kind of boring doing a stream, using it for a stream, but it looks different than anything else, so uh, I kind of like it. But I mean, I also like the um, uh, space truck they revealed the other day. Yeah, and again, I kind of like old trucks, so um, it's not really for me, um, a new, brand new Tesla truck, but... <laughs> okay, I see. Well, I knew about the tram already, uh, and I think the tram is... Uh, no, hang on, not the tram. I, I was thinking about the ferry, the new ferry. I haven't seen it at all. I need to take a look at it. Trains and trams sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna take a look at it and enjoy all the trains. Blah blah blah. Electric stuff in the bedroom can also be dangerous, especially if you're running it on 220 volts. Yeah, CJ, I'm kind of a Scania guy, so um, I'm more into these kinds of trucks, torpedoes, old Series 1, Bullfrog, really old Scanias. I like that. No, I don't like that truck. In front of me there. Thought I liked it. Jassas, welcome! Jesus, that was a close call. Say what, Jassas? <laughs> yeah, some parts do look European, but again, keep in mind that this part that we are holding on right now is one of the older parts. So uh, once we have reached our destination and delivered our cargo, we're going to move to the um, northern parts of the map. And um, I think you're going to like those parts. But I wanted to start here because... Um, well, this is as bad as it gets uh, I mean newer parts of any map always looks better than the older parts that's just how it is so it's, it's it can't get worse than this Dokus welcome Well, uh, you're probably right about that, Thanos. There are already cars that, that do the same thing. Most famously, probably the uh, BMW i8 do that. Have external speakers. To make it sound beefier than it is. 
You're bored, uh, Yoko. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Despite me remembering your name and all. <laughs> yeah. Black Sea is coming out, but keep in mind that 136 will have to come out first. Then we'll have uh, Black Sea, so don't expect Black Sea this weekend. Probably happening next week. Or the week after. <laughs> yes, CJ! <laughs> that <laughs> says Yoko. <laughs> Timu, welcome. <laughs> well, I can give you the Black Sea DLC, um, Thanos, if you um, bring the most awesome truck to the um, convoy on Saturday. Drive in the middle. Mike, welcome. Uh, you don't want to wait for 136, Boglak? Uh, never happened before, but I actually hope they won't release 136 until next week. Reason is obviously we're gonna have a convoy on on Saturday and um, well TMP won't support 136 immediately anyway so um, it's gonna be an awful lot of people who do not know how to downgrade to 135 if the game is updated to 136 over the weekend. Well, Perry, you're gonna have to downgrade to uh, 135. I was on 136 as well. Um, but for the uh, convoy, you're gonna have to downgrade to 135. Because we're gonna use pro mods. Uh, Mike, uh, there's a huge risk that the game will be updated sometime this week and I'm saying risk only because of the convoy we're having on Friday oh, sorry on Saturday normally I'm just kind of I kind of feel dead the last week or so before the game is updated because I really want the final version to come out not this time though I hope we won't see it until Sunday uh, CJ, th on uh, Steam, just as you upgrade to the beta version, you can downgrade to any more or less previous version. One of them then being obviously 135. So if you right click the game on um, in Steam, you'll select properties and then you have a beta tab. And in there you'll find older versions of the game. Alex is here. Welcome, Alex. And, uh, you know, Alex, uh, good having you here. Uh, I have another request. Um, not this truck, but there's another truck. I'm, um, I'll send it to you if you accept the challenge. I want something rusty. So I have this old Scania truck that I'm going to try out. And if I like it, maybe you could make me a rusty skin for it. You're the best, Alex. Thank you. <laughs> mm. 
I just wish I could use her own skins on uh, on TMP. That would be nice. See, come on, truck. Don't fail me now. Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been on you about that, Alex. Uh, but yeah, there's a. Speaking of Scania, eh? <laughs> Uh, might the convoy servers probably gonna be ar online around noon the convoy starts at 1 p.m. Central European time and it's probably gonna be uh, up about an hour prior to that I honestly I can't remember exactly uh, when it's uh, when it will be up but we are having a truck fest the first hour of the convoy so even if you run a little late, you won't have any problems uh, joining. Uh, CJ, if you go to the... Um can't give you the link right now but if you go to the uh, page where you um, where you tell us that you want to participate you'll have it in uh, US Eastern time there come on power Thanks, CJ. <laughs> there are kids in the woods. <laughs> What's with all of you today? Uh, Bogdan, no, there's no um, password. I'm learning a lot by uh, doing this convoy. Uh, turns out that you can in theory join any private server because it is on the same list where you normally have all the other servers. Uh, I've, and I've noticed it a couple of times that there are odd servers on the list of available servers. Uh, it's just that uh, if you don't, in many cases at least, if you haven't prior to the convoy uh, told that you will um, be part of whatever convoy there is, uh, you will be kicked if you're not on the list of people who have accepted the invite. Uh, but in many cases you won't get kicked. Uh, so you can just sneak in and be part of, in theory at least, any convoy whenever you like <laughs> well at least the kids aren't playing on the highway if there's only two options play in the woods along the road or play on the tarmac I say go play in the woods Uh, 
probably not Bogdak. Uh, I've I spent an entire evening uh, chatting with the Viva NL guys. They're they're great guys. Uh, we s talked a lot about what kind of problems we could see, and uh, people coming in just to um, to ruin the party. You don't see that very often, if ever. So uh, hopefully not. But of course, we might have people who try to um, uh, break into and be part of the convoy. Uh, they will be kicked. And when I say break in, it's because, well, if they start in Södertälje, once we've started the convoy, uh, all of Stockholm will be blocked off. Uh, so then they'll have to brute force their way into Stockholm and to the convoy. Um, and that is a very bad idea because truckers MP admins will be there as well as um, uh, Viva NL who's blocking off Stockholm. Arias, you can't possibly ruin it being there is all it takes for us to feel that you've made our day so um there's no way you can you can ruin it by not showing up that's true sure malta here it is here's my beauty rusty as hell One eleven S. <laughs> You'll bring a train instead. As uh, speaking, of what you could bring, by the way, I uh, did some tests yesterday evening, and I took I. Um, uh, six by two up to Kirkness and that works just fine uh, I said you should bring in that we recommend that you bring a four by two and uh, well my six by two is also a four by two because it has a tag lift so you can always use a six by two with a tag lift uh, which I will use uh, because I kind of prefer the six by whatever to a four by two So if you want to bring a 6x4 or something similar to that, bring a tag lift. Yeah, this one is very, very well used. I mean, look at the windshield. Let's have a look at the map. We should be. Yeah, we are. We're almost there. Gas. So we started in Pelotas, made it all the way up here, which gives you an idea of the size, possibly, of this map. Uh, and it's on the 1 to 10 scale, not the regular 1 to 19. <laughs> Three! <but laughs> <laughs> Three by seven, <laughs> please bring it. <laughs> I'd love to see a three by seven. <laughs> yeah, D Thanos, don't bring anything stupid, just bring a single trailer. Highly recommended. Um. I've tried going down to the quarry using the HTC and it kind of works until you get down to the um, last three, four corners and then you're screwed. Casper, welcome! <laughs> Did we try a three-wheeler? Wasn't one of these stupid things you could use 
No, we had a wheelchair that had four wheels and the... No, we didn't try a three-wheeler. I think I'd like to see if I can find a three-wheeler. Oh, this is not gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Ah. Go ahead there, sir, and um, I'll try to plan this better. Straight roads is kind of what I do. What's up with all this traffic? There we go. kind of made it <laughs> god that was horrible I don't like this trailer long and no steering wheels on it I'm gonna what do you mean teleport hang on I can't I can't mute the night bot Perid Arias and are you able to mute the uh, night bot yeah I kind of like them too CJ with a trailer I'm used to this one is not one of them <laughs> a one by <laughs> did I say Arias sorry Arias I meant bang on <laughs> hmm oh well I do apologize for the night bots I'll um it's set up so that it goes through all these messages every 15 minutes. I figured that would work, but um, I'm going to change that to once per hour. No shit, Mike. I know it's broken. Uh, to become an admin, CJ, you need to donate um, 10,000 euro to my uh, Steam account. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that worked well, Arias. <laughs> yeah, there's a few games and a few, um, DLC is coming out that I want to buy. Um, there's a new Chinese trucking game. Uh, came out just recently now. It's only available in Chinese. Uh, but I think I'm gonna buy it and try it out. See what it's like. <laughs> 20,000 leva? How much? Uh, what's that worth? 10 euros? 
Uh, absolutely, Perid. Absolutely. Uh, we're gonna go train sim 100%. There we have it, there's Lagers. Well, if you want to buy all of the train simulator DLCs, you're gonna have to... Um, what was it? 6,000 euros or something? Stop sh staring at the chat. Let's see, where's the entrance? Is it it's over there? It is. So oh, there we have it. Uh, ah, just played safe. I'm not here to brag about my excellent parking skills. <clears throat> There we go. Lajes, or is it Lajes? Lajes? <laughs> so there we go. It's time to um, switch trucks. I think I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> You're leaving us, uh, Alex. Well, thank you for being here, Alex, and hope to see you on Saturday at least. Let's see, we are back in um, Tres Tres Rios. Um, we're gonna teleport to Terraso Police and start there. Well, the game could use... No, it's actually one of the trucks. Hmm. Wait. Teresa, please. Let's see, where are we? Put it down over here. That. And here is my truck. She's a beauty, isn't she? So this is what we're going to use now, 620 horsepower, and we're going to try to find something a little bit heavier this time. From Terrasa Police, uh, 46 tons. Wow, no, we're not going to do that tonight. Holy shit, are all these holes that long? Hmm. I was kind of hoping for something heavy. Well, maybe we should take something from Petropolis instead. That could work. What do you guys say? The ugliest truck you've ever seen, Bengan?
Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you, Alex. Yeah, Arias. Um, but it's mostly uh, truck uh, related, not map related. All of it is actually uh, truck related. So never mind that. Um, fine, let's see if we can find something here instead. And that looks 50 tons. 49. I'm not in a hurry. But you know what? I, I want to do that. Venus from Itaipava. I'm just gonna quickly do that and we should be there in no time. There we are. See what we can do with this. Uh, yeah, same configuration on all of them, just different skins. Yeah, let's just go with that one then. <laughs> what the hell, Bengan? Seriously, is it just Bengan? Say, say it's just Bengan who doesn't like this truck. I think it is a perfect example of what you could see in uh, Brazil. Thank you, Tim. It's just Bengan. <laughs> and Arias. <laughs> I think we need to, um, well, let's, let's get it hooked up first. Let me know if the volume is still okay. It might be a little bit too loud for, loud for no, silent for, for this truck. Wow. I didn't expect that. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this instead. Um, I have no idea why that happened. There we go. So there we have them. Uh, Merlin, the Brazil trailers, you need to get the um, uh, RBR map. These trailers, uh, cargoes, they are all part of the RBR map. the truck do support it uh, Mafia X um, it has worked perfectly on any other maps I've used it don't know if it's something well maybe it's well yeah I'm not gonna speculate even uh, let's see um, take a look at the map so we're starting over here and we're gonna have a wonderful time going up here then all the way down to Niteroi. Probably didn't pronounce that correctly either. Niteroi. 238 kilometers, which equals 500 kilometers on a 1 to 19 scale map. Nightbot doesn't know what he's talking about. This is Fabio's truck, so... Um, there can't be anything wrong with it. It's perfect.
me think the uh, engine sound is a little too low let me know what you think uh, light type if i know anything about the japan map uh, yeah i know a few things about it uh you think i'm sitting too low bang on <laughs> um right let's see is that better sir this is actually a beautiful dashboard i don't care what any of you say i like this it's the old uh, series. Was it two or three? It looked like this. <laughs> I never should have brought that blue bell to any of my streams. Marco, welcome. Oh, seriously, come on. Second gear. Uh oh. Uh, Scanning has then. No. I have not. That isn't even a proper truck. Imho. Uh, that is antennas, yes. Uh, CJ, it's 620 horsepower, uh, this truck, and the uh, load was 49 tons. It's fueled by Brazilian fuel, so um, yeah, it's probably going to be underpowered. Jesus Christ, this was more difficult than I thought it would be. How the antennas move, CJ? Um, it's physics. I have no idea how they implemented it, but I've seen it on other trucks as well. So it's it's not it's not only Fabio uh, who do that. Others have done it as well. Jesus Christ, this road is a lot harder. Why did I bring a double trailer to this? Uh, Mike, no, this is not a fictional map uh, from what I understand. Uh, this is Brazilian roads. The uh, the stacks uh, bang on. Uh, well, CJ, uh, I think, well, obviously this one, but I think the other uh, torpedo truck that I'm linking to in the video description also 
do that. Um, maybe the reason why you haven't seen it before is that you haven't been hauling in enough uh, Brazilian trucks because this is something you often see on Brazilian trucks because yeah they have very long antennas uh, you're out in the jungle and you need to be in radio contact with people so you have well long antennas to get a better signal uh, Marco this is not uh, a new map it's been around for a very long time uh, last time I was here was on 131 but obviously it's a new version of the map on 131 it was version 4.1 and now it's version 4.7 yeah CJ definitely get this map and um, and buy it now because it's it's on sale 25% off this week. Black Friday sales this week. Whoa, slow down. I'll never get a nut new snuff if this continues. Gregory, welcome. Um, I'm s I'm sorry for ignoring you guys, but I'm kind of busy right now. Come on, little truck, you can do this. You've never had anything long in front of you. I have no comments. I have zero comments on that. It is Marco. Congratulations, my friend. 47, you youngster. I'm 48. Happy birthday to you. Armstrong power hose, a train sim mod sim, blah blah blah. Who cares about train sims? Yeah, so I heard Mike. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at it after this uh, stream. Your birthday tomorrow, Perid. You're turning 18, isn't it? Holy shit, this road is... Why did I take this road? Well, you can't be older than uh, Bang and CJ. So Perry the toddler. Whoa, great. Um, that's better. So the game isn't fully DX11 compatible, perhaps. Perry is a big boy. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not completely um, 
DX11 compatible. So I'm guessing it's it's not gonna work at all probably on 136 until it gets updated. Ah, <laughs> funny Thanos. <laughs> Yeah, I'm turning, I'm 48, I'm turning 49 next year. But I'm glad to see that there's a man, so many of you who are 40 plus. That makes me very happy. Knowing that I'm not the only one, except for Bengal, of course. So in other words, you are 52 today, CJ. Hang on. Well, despite the uh, minor issues on DX11, you gotta admit that this looks pretty good, right? I just wish it was a gravel road. Miles, welcome. And welcome to Brazil. Uh, welcome, <laughs> thank you, Bengan. Welcome, Quattro. You like the truck? So do I. Bengan doesn't, but um, everyone else does. Yeah, I definitely like this map a lot. I like the new parts. They made for 4.7. Oh, oh, slow down. I'm all over the road. I'm just going to ignore the chat for a bit. Bear with me here. Trying to keep the truck on the road. Oops, my bad. Sorry. I highly recommend you don't bring a double trailer to this particular road. It's a horrible idea. You're turning 62, freak. Nice. I uh, guess that makes you half the age of Bengal. He's 124, 5 something. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Bank from Russia. 175 it is. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're all a bunch of old timers on this stream. Badim, thank you, uh, thank you Thanos, so welcome Badim.
Just look at this map. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, Vadim, not Vadim. Sorry, my bad as well then. Welcome, Vadim. <laughs> Nice having you here. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't pronounce your name earlier. Well, go ahead then. Come on. Crazy Brazilians. There we go. Let's have a look at the map again, see where we are. Where are the... Yeah, that road wasn't good with double trailers. And we might have something here as well that will be <clears throat> a little bit challenging. Other than that, we should be good. Yeah, I'm fully aware of how to drive in Mexico. Uh, there's been a lot of conversations about how um, the AI is driving on the um, Mexican maps and it's always defended by Mexicans like what it's it's how we do it Yeah, this map is a lot of fun, I can promise you. Um, and I mean, it, it looks... Never mind that this is on DirectX 11, so never mind any of the couple of glitches we've seen so far. Uh, I mean, it's just stunning, isn't it? You crazy mother... Come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're absolutely right, CJ. Uh, mother of uh, all truckers. Yeah, Simulador is game player. Uh, you're right. It is, if not the, then it's at least one of the absolutely best Brazilian maps out there. I did a video on this one on 131, so it's it's been out for quite some time. And even back then it was version 4.1. Uh, now on 135 it's version 4.7. Oh, come on! You don't like it? I absolutely love this map, Bengan. And I mean, compare this to EAA. Um, I'll drive here any day of the week. There are parts of EAA where I could have fun too, but this map, everywhere. I'm starting to look like Walter White. Thank you. Thank you, Xperior. Appreciate it. Not really, but.
But I'm definitely gonna do a stream on uh, EAA once 5.2 is out. They are adding another 10,000 kilometers to the map on 5.2. So there should be a lot of interesting roads to haul on uh, once 5.2 is out. Uh, it's, it's EA. It's 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 a strange map. There are so many parts that I just hate, and then you have these parts that makes you come back again and again and again uh, because they are just beautiful. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with EA. Yeah, it's a lot of quantity over quality with EAA. Uh, but I'm still very much looking forward to the new 10,000 kilometers they've added. Um, hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun hauling their new parts. How it is to drive this uh, map Quattro? Well, it's... Um, I'm not enjoying it as much with with these double trailers <laughs> um, but it is a lot of fun driving here and I gotta say I'm I'm spending a lot of my time here watching the views I really like the views on this map um, and it includes a lot of Brazilian traffic as well as Brazilian cargo Brazilian trailers and there is a bus mod or traffic, uh, sorry, passenger mod, so you can haul using truck uh, buses here instead if you like. Uh, unfortunately, the map doesn't include any buses, but um, I guess that's a good thing, really. But you do have the uh, passenger mod here, and it works very well. So I enjoy hauling on this map. Uh, Xperia? N n no, I don't think so. Um, Promos is going to focus on... Um, and I assume you are referring to ATS now. Uh, they're going to focus on Canada. Um, and get in the northern parts of North America uh, mapped. So I can't see them going south of uh, Mexico really like ever ever is a long time but not in the next 10 years hang on i'm gonna ignore the chat again for a bit Another thing I'm noticing on uh, DX11 is that there's some kind of lag. I'm not sure if it's noticeable on the uh, stream, but I can certainly feel it. Especially going around corners. Uh, Mark136, uh, I hope it's out on Sunday. I hope it's not out earlier than Sunday. <laughs> to be honest, but I hope it's out on Sunday. Uh, there is a huge risk that it will be out earlier than Sunday even. Um, and I can't imagine 136 being released later than next week. Because 136 is going to be released before the Baltic Steel, uh, sorry, the um, Black Sea DLC. And that is very close now. Um, any day.
Mike, thank you for being here. Sorry I didn't see that earlier. Uh, thank you for being here. I hope to see you again. If not tomorrow, then on Saturday. How spooky does spooky have to be until it's not spooky anymore? Uh, I don't know. Yes, I'm really looking forward to the Lone Star. Uh, I gotta say that I'm not a huge fan of the Lone Star, but I'm a huge fan of all new truck mods coming to uh, ATS. Uh, I'm not surprised that it's released earlier than the Mack trucks. Uh, but to be honest, even though the Mack trucks is the ones I look most forward to, um, having Lone Star in there as well is, is great. And the last time they did a uh, lights on in a dark garage thing, uh, that was for the new Renault, and the new Renault came out two days later, so uh, we could have Lone Star before the end of this week. Quattro, thank you very much for being here, and sleep well. Uh, oh, I got so excited about the chat again. Sorry, uh, I'm not from the UK, but thank you. Uh, I'm from Sweden. Um, we get to learn English from third grade, so um, it's well, it's actually the one language you can't live without in Sweden, even if most Swedes uh, speak English. Uh, it's actually easier to um, to just speak English because there are some people here who do not speak Swedish and everyone speaks English so um, it's more than just a second language to us why are everyone driving so slowly move I'm late with my delivery. <coughs> Thank you, Thanos. That's very kind of you. Uh, let's have a look at the map. Uh, how late? Oh god, I'm gonna be very, very, very late. Mm. We're only halfway there, more or less, and sure, this is gonna be a highway, 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 but still. Well, I guess I have one and a half hours, but still not gonna make it. Come on. Well, we got lucky the last time, Thanos. So hopefully the cartel will let me go this time as well. Here we go. Come on. I mean, it's 620 horsepower and only 49 tons of cargo behind us. And I'm flooring it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I rise that I'm not pregnant. I would be very surprised if I am. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a great, uh, great couple of months, uh, Thanos. Um, hopefully it will continue. Um, please share, like, etc, etc. Spread the word, guys. Spread the word.
Well, next better. Thank you for being here during your break. Uh, hope to see you on on uh, Saturday. Yeah, I saw Perry. That is insane. We have nine hundred and at least nine hundred and forty people on Discord. That's absolutely fantastic. So, uh, if you guys want to join a great Discord server with a lot of people helping each other out. There's a link in the video description. And for those of you who like trains, Parrot is keeping the uh, train simulator channel very much alive. Thank you, Nightbot. Perfect timing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope you won't do that, Thanos, even though uh, 100 more subscribers is nice. Uh, I would be rather disappointed with the low number of people watching the videos if, if everyone did that. Or the relatively low number of people watching. I can't believe how underpowered this truck feels. It's just double trailers, come on! <laughs> well, or you could just send me the money instead, Thanos, because, um, well, there's a few games I need to buy. There we go. Let's see. Oh. Well, Valorator is um, at least a couple of maps that claims to be Indonesia. Uh, I guess the kids you were watching there uh, were uh, doing buses. Um, and it's probably one of Creative Zone's map mods. Um, I've downloaded a few of Creative Zones maps and, um, well, I've never done any videos of them. For different reasons. Yeah, it's you and Steam King, uh, Perid. I saw that Swedish locomotive. Uh, you posted on that channel earlier today. I gotta say it was pretty, pretty neat. Can't believe the Swedish actually made a good looking train like that. What was a total mess? Welcome, Agent. Uh, welcome. Nice having you here, buddy. Welcome to Brazil. And complete darkness here, unfortunately, as well. Um, but we're only 67 kilometers out. So, 140 kilometers on a 1 to 19 scale. So, we're there in a couple of minutes. Oh, the Discord. Wait, what? Is my Discord server a complete mess? What are you talking about? I have the best Discord server out there. Period. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I saw that period. Most of those Swedish trains seem to be in, uh, in the Lunds.
You think there's too many channels? Is that what you're saying, Bengan? I think it's pretty neat having one channel for every map mod out there. Oh, just Discord. Um, yeah, the thing I like the most about Discord is that it's it's much easier to um, to give people support on um, on whatever problems they may have with their uh, uh, map combos. Uh, because on YouTube I do not see all I do not get notifications on all comments that are made unfortunately so um, it's almost impossible to help anyone other than once or twice in, in the best of cases but on Discord you can follow them through the entire um, support errand without losing track of what they've done and what they haven't done so uh, discord is great for that freak thank you so much for being here have a good night's sleep and i hope to catch you again on saturday for the convoy oh so you have but you have five of them which is bonkers because they only made what was it 110 of those trains nothing can stress me out except everything Come on, how much further? 40 kilometers or 80 kilometers? Come on. Now I wanted to show you more of this map, so I suggest that because it's almost 9 o'clock now, uh, my suggestion is that we continue this stream tomorrow, once this hall has been completed, and um, do a couple of more halls on this map mod that many of you haven't heard of, um, because I have nothing better to have no better suggestions right now for what we're going to do tomorrow and the reason for that is i'm completely focused on on the convoy we're having on saturday um so i hope you're okay with us doing more on this map tomorrow oh ah kalia is here hi Welcome, Galia. And welcome to Brazil. And why are you so late? You're actually very early, but... Uh, because we're about to... Um, to complete this last haul for the day. Oh, you... No, of course you're not gonna stop. Border Enforcer, welcome. Yeah, but I'm glad you're here now, Border. Even though you're joining us just as we're about to wrap this up. And for those of you who just joined us, I'm sorry about the night bot. That's one of the things I'm going to fix as soon as this stream is complete. Um... <laughs> you slept in. 
what is it, five in the morning? <laughs> uh, tell me about it, Thanos. I don't think, as I think we are, whoa, we have 15 minutes. We're not gonna make it, but it's gonna be close. Uh, where was I? Yeah, night bots. I'm gonna fix the night bots. Um, it's, uh, I'm gonna change the settings. It's a little bit too frequent as it is right now. So I'm gonna make it uh, instead of once every 15 minutes, I'm gonna have those messages popping up once per hour instead. <laughs> no kidding, CJ, I know I'm gonna be late. You're sick. Welcome! Holy shit! That was close. Didn't like that. So I'm gonna stop watching the chat now and keep an eye on the road instead. Get out of my way. Come on. Get out of my... Nah. A hole. Well, good for you, uh, Bengan. I still see it. And I think most of us see the night bot. Yeah, I'm going a little bit fast. Sorry about that. Juice Black, yeah, uh, it's set to 15 minutes now. Um, well, maybe it's enough just to put it up at around 30 minutes instead. Uh, 15 minutes is definitely, in any case, way too often. It's a shame it's in the middle of the night. I wish you could see the cities here. The roads in the cities, they are, as you can see on the GPS, they are absolutely bonkers. And I do not care about the stop sign. It's pretty easy getting lost on these roads. Smokey! Welcome. Any time left? Uh, no. We are definitely late. And we're almost there. Come on. I'm not gonna stop. This cocaine will be delivered on time, more or less at least. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I am pregnant, Arias. I stopped bleeding earlier as well. Haven't bled in a long time. Oops, did I say cocaine? I mean, um, um, Bobinas the Ajo, whatever that is. That is cocaine, isn't it? In Portuguese. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, Arise, I have nothing for you. Whoops, I'm just gonna look away. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the water broke. I have no water left. <laughs> it's liquefied cocaine. No bonus? I think I'm gonna get a bonus in the form of a bullet. Is it this one or is it... No, it's the next one. See, there it is. There we go. No, I'm going I'm trying to avoid bullets. Ah overshot it. There we go. So there we have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I was like five minutes late. Oh well. So there we have it. Um, let's make that daylight. Yeah, 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 I know it's red. Um, don't have any... There it is. So, there we have it. This truck is apparently not for everyone. But have faith, tomorrow we're gonna try something else. A Series 2 instead. Um, so maybe Bang and will like that one more. Uh, and um, for today, I think we're... I don't think, I know that we're done. And uh, I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. We're gonna start again tomorrow on this very same map. The RBR map. Or... Uh, Mapa Roads Brazil and do uh, some more hauling. Um, 7 p.m. Central European time tomorrow, same as today. Yeah, 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 bang on. I like this truck. Okay, um, maybe the skin is a little bit too much, but other than that, I like this truck. So, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll use it again tomorrow just to annoy you. Uh... <laughs> In any case, uh, thank you so much for being here, guys. And I hope to see you again, all of you, tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central European time with a lot less night bot than we had today. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.